everybody this is mark nugent candidate for irvine school board coming you mark this is mark after dark how is everyone how's everybody doing hey everybody watching this in replay skip for two minutes we already got three people watching what is up how's everybody doing this is mark nugent candidate for irvine school board so i tagged some people here hey hey sue how are you doing and uh, I can't wait to see the buttons tomorrow. So I wanted to talk about the gifts I got. I want to show you guys some gifts that I got from my donors. Some people tagged here, like Mike Munzing. He didn't know why. I was texting him. I said, I have a present for you. Jeff Clyde, you don't know what I have for you, but I'm going to show you because we're all so busy. I'm just going to show you what I got you guys. Uh, Mia Fair and uh, who else I got it for? Miles Finham, Sarah Cole. You guys weren't there. I'll try to give you this present. And Mike Munzing. Mike Munzing, I know you're going to like what I got you because you like military gear. Yes, I've been giving these to my donors and volunteers. Um, if, um, if you donate 100 bucks, I'll get definitely get you one of these guys. Um, but it's a very personal thing I made for them. So let me show you what I got for Mike Munzing. So, okay, I'm back. So anyway, first and foremost, if you're just watching this the first time, the reason why I do this is, like, obviously, I love people. And two, I am running for um, Irvine School Board. And, you know, you can fake photos all day long. You can fake even a scripted video. You can script, script a debate. You cannot script live because you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer them. But anyway, let me show you some of the presents I got for the donors. Okay. So I just got a, a cool hats. And then I went and had their name tabs personally on there. So it's like the really nice hats. Let me flip them around so you can see. You can read the name. So there's Mike Munzings, mayor of Aliso Viejo. I got him this cool hat for the range. I know he's, like, he's a shooter. So it's a cool... A cool hat, and I uh, had it a special embroidered, you know, like the military, the OD green ones. So, Jeff, if you're there, got the one too. Jeff Clyde, um, Mia Fair, there's Mia Fair. Um, she helped me out a lot. If Mia Fair, if you're watching, I tagged you in this, so I got this for you. Another one is, I know this is backwards, of course. There's Jeff Clyde. Boom. Jeff Clyde is a published author, ladies and gentlemen, a very successful. Um, business consultant. If you ever want to know how to build a business, you talk to Jeff Clyde. Also, this is for Sarah Cole. Um, and also, well, she was a better half. Miles, you're watching this. This is yours. Mr. Miles Feynman. Boom, there's yours. I know it's backwards because the the screen. And then also, Jeff Gibson, I tagged you here. He already, I already gave him his hat. Ella Kitchen, Mary, Eric, um, and everyone else that helped me and donated. Um, it took me a while to put them all together, and I had to a special order the name tags, but uh, everyone seems to like them. And uh, I'm like, I really want to give these presents to people because I love seeing how happy they are when I give them. And I hope Mike Munzing's watching. Mike Munzing, I probably won't get to see Mike until after the election. Again, Mike Munzing's running for a re-election to be the uh, Liso Viejo mayor. Mike Munzing also endorsed me, which is amazing uh, to get an, a mayor to endorse me as a new, uh, I'm not an establishment politician, I'm just a regular human being like you. So for him to endorse me was big. Also got a party endorsement. I've got a couple party endorsements, um, a bunch of others. But you know, but people going, oh, I got this endorsement. I got endorsement. How about this? I have high content of character. And I will get the job done. That's why you should vote for me. <laughs> Plus, I'm a lot younger and funner. I'm good looking. I'm the youngest candidate. I'm young kids. I mean, because I'm on the school board, right? I have kids in the schools. But uh, I'm youngest. I'm actually connected. I actually can listen to people. And uh, actually know how to log into a Facebook account. Some people don't. <laughs> Some people <laughs> don't have to like, work their email. So, um, again, I, it's okay to say that because I will be old eventually too, right? Um, so, anyway, I was hoping um, Jeff or Mike Munzing or Miles or Sarah would come on so I can show them what I got them. But Jeff Clyde will probably join us. So, let's see what else we can talk about. Also, we got a new logo in. Um, I got a new signs up. I put out. Um, we got 300 more signs in, so I put out a bunch more signs, and I want to thank Mary and Eric and Sanjay. Oh, Sanjay got a hat too. Um, his son is in uh, Portola High School, so Sanjay got a hat, and Sanjay's doing my signs. Also, John, I want to thank you. I need to um, reach out to you. Again, I know you're not watching this on Facebook. You're not a Facebook type of guy, but thank you, John, and uh, thank you, everyone else. I do need volunteers. We need to pass out these cards because I don't have... 80 grand to, pa to mail all these. So if you want to help me, we're going to have some events coming up. And probably next week and a half, two weeks, we're going to walk some precincts. And we're going to put these in people's doors. We'll knock on the door, say, hey, this is our guy, whatever. But then we'll put these in the doors. Mike Munzing, there you are. Look what I got you. Let me show you something. I got you something, Mike. 
Mike Munzing, hold on. I got you something. Let me flip the camera around. You got, if you can see it. So there you go. It's your hat. I made these for all the donors. Flip the camera on. There you go, Mike. I had that special embroidered for you. I know you like military gear, so got your nice military hat. Got these for all the donors. Special name tip embroidered. So I'm sure you can use it out of the range. That's that. I actually got two different types of, they ran out of flags, so I have this type, and then I have the rubbery, I have one of these left, and then I got the, like the more the rubber, rubber, rubber patches. So, anyway, if you guys want to ask me questions about the election, feel free, and if you watch with your kids, this, I know this is late, but this is a clean um, broadcast, so there's you no know, cussing or anything like that. Is that for the future learning in school items you spend on? No, they were personal gifts for my friends. My friend Mike is a uh, mayor of Aliso Viejo, and I got him a hat because I actually went and had it embroidered. And Joe, I got Joe a hat too. What's up, Joe? Um, I've got like five left to give out. So there's mayor of Aliso Viejo. I made this for him. Boom. Yeah, I uh, thought the personal touch was nice. I, I wanted to embroider that. And I got the, I got the same hat. I, I, it's my favorite hat. So I was like, you know what? I think my friends would uh, really like that, my donors. So um, there you go. Um, so Mike Munzing, Jeff Clyde, Sarah, Miles, Mia Fair. I got, I got, I got gifts for you. So hit me up. I know, um, unfortunately, Mike Munzing. I get, he's again, he's very busy. He's running for Irvine or Aliso Viejo mayor. He probably will not have the time to meet with me until after the election. Between my schedule too, it's just it's crazy. I'm, I did two events today. I went to the grand opening of Volcano Restaurant in Tustin great restaurant they had free food for us it's really cool then all these food critics were out there taking pictures of all the food i posted the photos and they were like oh you're a politician like they all want to take photos of me i was like i'm just a guy but they were like oh so excited to see me i was like that's so cool and then i got recognized at matt harper's office went to an open house this evening and some um young college kids are like i recognize you on facebook you're the guy and uh it's cool felipe was his name so i'm gonna hook up with you and he said he might have some volunteers um, probably thinking the 23rd, the 22nd IPCF gala, um, but probably the 23rd I'll be walking some precinct. And again, if you um, if you have time, uh, I'll meet up with you and I'll give you some of these postcards. I need help passing them out because we don't have 100 grand to stick in doors. I'm not financed by some huge company because um, you know those like big huge paper things. Those are expensive, and uh, unless you want to give me 100 grand for some, some mailers, but I don't know. I think we can do this for a fraction of the cost. You know what? We'll go out, we'll have some Gatorade in the park, and then we'll go put these on doors and talk to people and uh, move forward. And if you uh, donate, um, I'll get you a hat. So that's that. So I'm glad the people, I'm glad, I'm glad Joe liked it and everyone else. Mary, she was so stoked to get the hat. She, was, she gave me a huge hug. And Mary, again, here's a picture of Mary. Mary is a teacher in Irvine. There's Mary. She agreed to be on my, um, my postcards. Um, so again, we have we have retired a lot of retired. Hey Jeff, I got I got to show you something. There's Jeff Clyde, ladies and gentlemen. He just joined us. I have your gift, Jeff. I want to show it to you. So this is the gift I got for you. I made these, had them personalized, and embroidered. So and I know you're super busy with your book tours and your business consulting. So I got this for you. It's your name. I know it's backwards, but I got that embroidered with your name on it, and it's a uh, it's your hat. I got that for all my donors. All people have been helping us out on the campaign, and um, there you go. And uh, this, I got it embroidered for you. I'll flip it around so you can see your name. There you go. And again, anyone else want to donate hundred bucks? I'll help you up with a hat. But there you go. Um, these are the Odie Green tapes. This is what we used to wear when I first came in. I'm not a big fan of the the new camouflage pattern, so it's a cool hat. That's what I got for you. That's what I was going to give you today, and uh, I figured I'd. I'd uh, put it out there with something cool to talk about and uh, ladies and gentlemen also I don't have his book it's in my car I want to always like to show um, show off that I am I know a famous writer Jeff Clyde um, uh, actually he wrote the networking with the cards you were dealt and you know what that's what I've been doing I've been winning or networking we want to call it, with the cards I've been dealt in this life you know I grew up in a very poor family I was in welfare food stamps and enough food um, I was homeless at 16 you know, and my teachers and my principal helped me get into um, to the army when I was 17 years old, and I built a whole nother life. And here we are. 
I would never imagine going this far with anything, let alone um, having endorsements from all these people in the party and mayors helping me get elected. I just, it blows my mind. And I, I, it's, it's awesome. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for the donors. And uh, AW, if you're just joining us, AW Moss is another such person in my life. So AW, I got these, um, he probably has tons of this stuff. So I got these cool hats for my donors. So, and this is for Jeff Clyde. He just joined us. He is a published author and he is a business consultant. So he flies around the country and he gets paid a lot of money to talk to people. And he's really, really smart. So you should listen to him if Jeff ever talks to you. And uh, also Jeff Gibson. I had two Jeffs. Uh, Jeff Gibson, I got him a hat. Mayor Mike Munzing, this is yours. And then, of course, Sarah and uh, Miles, I got your hats. And then uh, Mia Fair from um, Lighthouse Title. So, Lighthouse Title and Escrow. And then, of course, Jeff Gibson, First American Title. He, um, he helped me out. Thank you, AW. And believe it or not, we are the underdog, but we're winning. Believe it or not, I went to a, um, an event tonight at a State Assembly... Um, Matt Harper's office, state assemblyman, and I talked to somebody and I told them kind of the details and they're like, you're going to win. Where's mine? Where's yours, honey? Thank you, Joe. Also, Joe, he is my neighbor and he drove me around for a couple hours the other day and with his um, really nice car. He's got my favorite car in the world. Zoom, zoom, zoom around Irvine and it goes really fast. Stick and move, stick and move. So, but uh, anyway, back to the story with the state assemblyman's office. There was a nice... Uh, um, lady there, she's like, you're gonna win. Just you're gonna win because the, the top, you're top of the ballot. Um, I don't. It's in the. I could. It's in my car. But I can show you the ballot. I'm number one on the ballot. So she said, you're gonna win because of that and because you're military. And it says on the ballot, army captain. So, and um, people are tired of incumbents. And I was like, okay. Don't ignore Tanya. Well, if she wants to. She can just come downstairs and hit me or something. <laughs> she's more than welcome. To be on the uh, the broadcast, and I make note. I'm not shy about it. I have an Asian wife, and um, you know this is um, a demographic. We have 40% Asian, so I'm always like shameless plug. I get an Asian wife come in, come in the frame, honey. So, of course, I don't think of her as a, an Asian lady. That I'm, I just think of her as a poor lady that stuck with me. Um, come on, would you really be married with me with all this craziness? They didn't have a cap. I'm his biggest donor. Well, you're stuck sleeping next to me, but. Uh, that's that. I'll get you a hat, honey. But would you really wear it? I don't think you'd wear it. No, nope. I got an extra one. <laughs> oh, hey, honey, there's AW. He's uh, in Texas now. So, anyway, it was pretty cool today meeting uh, Matt Harper. He was really awesome. I told um, the state assembly, I said, hey, I got this issue. Can you help me with it? He's like, yeah. He gave me personal, his personal email and says, I'll help you out. And I don't want to go negative. I, I ignore other other rivals, but I said, hey, I need help from the party. And I, I worked on this. I got officially recognized. Um, could you guys help me? He said, sure. So all these people are going to come out, give us some uh, volunteers, and uh, we're going to go put out Texas Rocks. I've never been there. I'll have to go check it out. I think after this election, first and foremost, I'm going to get back in shape because I'm gaining weight on this election, not exercising. And then I'm going to do some traveling, um, hopefully, with the, the kids this winter or uh, maybe spring break. But I'll definitely, I think I'll swing by Texas. I can visit you and uh, visit my sister. She's in um, Colleen, Texas. So I can go visit both you guys. So, but yeah, we need people to come pass these out. If you want to grab a stack, give them to your friends, whatever. I'll autograph it for you. And if you, uh, if you really want to, you want to pay for some more, I'll put your picture on here. And you can say, hey, I know Mark. Cool, right? Yeah, oh, you know, you know I'm going to come visit you, AW. Ow. Don't chew gum and broadcast. I think I just bit my tongue. Again, you can't script. You can't script this. Ow, that hurt. So, anyway, this morning I'll tell you guys about that again. Um, Volcano. Our page crashed. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's back up. Went to Volcano Restaurant over at uh, Tustin, over the Tustin Marketplace. You know, one side of the street at Tustin Marketplace is Irvine. The other is actually Tustin. It's like right in the city line. So, Volcano Restaurant. Chris. Hey, good night, Joe. Um, uh, my friend Chris, he invited me there today and uh, got to meet the owner, great food, um, some a little, couple press people were there, but it was just a really nice restaurant. I encourage you guys to check it out. Really great food. It's like this Japanese-Chinese fusion restaurant. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mary. But uh, I suggest you guys go check it out. I'm going to go take Tanya over there um, as soon as we get a chance, but I don't think I'm going to have another day off until November 9th. And uh, we're going into the sprint. Um, we're going to have to outwork the competition. That's it. They're outspending us, but we're going to outwork them. 
I mean, you can mail stuff, but we're going to get out there. We're going to talk to people. I ask you guys, please share the feed, share the content, tell everyone you know, vote, vote for Mark. Um, top of the ballot, the Army Captain guy, just stop there. Just vote for only one. Just vote for me. Just that's all you got to do. Too easy. And I will always be available for you guys. Good night, man. Yeah, I'm going to hang on for a few more minutes. I think I'll broadcast another 15 minutes or so. Just sit here and chat and ask questions um, about the election um, and all the interesting things. We'll talk about all the interesting things I'm learning along the way. I will say that um, doing this is very similar to being an Army officer. Um, it's uh, just better for the collar back up. So it, it's um, very similar. And the, and the structure of the school district is just like a brigade. Um, extremely, extremely similar. The way everything functions and the way people act, et cetera, et cetera. So it looks like our uh, audience left us. I'm going to say the worst thing you could do as a broadcasting is nobody shows up or you stop talking and a bunch of people just pop back in. So if you guys want to, give me a thumbs up like right here so I can, I can see, you guys, see it going across my screen like right there. Press the thumbs up button or ask a question. Uh, if you guys have any questions about my view on issues or what I think about a certain topic, you can watch my reaction in real time. Because again, you can fake photos, you can fake postcards, you can fake a scripted video, you can fake a scripted debate. You cannot fake live and here we are live. So I'll answer your questions. And if you're watching this and it's you're looking at your ballot like, should I vote for this guy? Who is this guy? First and foremost, you should vote for me. Second, um, why? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. One is I'm not an incumbent. I'm a new person with new ideas, um, a new perspective, and with a young family that understands the needs of the district. So there we go. There's some reasons right there. I understand how to fix safety. I understand for 20 years working for the federal government, I know how to engage with state and federal officials to get us funding properly. Hey, Manuel, Amaya, how are you doing? How's Mike? Manuel's a good friend of my, uh, he's a little bro I'm sorry, he's a brother of my good friends. What's up, bro? The other day I had uh, some mechanics, I had Anthony Quo join us the other day. I had uh, Matthew Ehorn, he's running for city council. He was on my broadcast. And then Anthony Quo popped in, I think. Del Chima, some other people, it's very interesting. They pop in and watch these. Farrah Khan has, um, she took a picture of me the other day, last Sunday. And she has agreed to come on the broadcast. I just got to track her down because, again, like all the candidates, we're all going a million miles an hour. It's 26 days to the left of the election. They're all trying to do as much as they can, work as much as they can. And I honestly, I feel bad for the city council candidates. There's just so many, and this is a really difficult race for them, for Irvine City Council. 11, there's 11 candidates for two seats. And like Dale said, it's really 10 candidates for one seat in the Irvine City Council. Thankfully, for me, it's not so bad. Only, it's only six of us for three seats. I'm pretty sure um, I'll get on there. But uh, I feel bad for the city council candidates. But they're all doing, they're all working hard. They're all doing a, um, a great job. I see them out there with their signs. They're having their events. Um, they've been pretty nice to me as well. Appreciate them all. Appreciate all of them, regardless of your politics. I appreciate all of them. Actually, when I approach them, I start talking to them. They all took a photo with me, or most of them did. When I track them down, they take a photo with me, and uh, we talked. And uh, a couple of them, so they're going to do live broadcasting. Ian Delucian, he 100% will do a live broadcast. Um, we just got to find the time. Farrah Khan, she will do a live broadcast. Matthew Ehorn has. Um, also, on the subject of Matthew Ehorn, if you remember, Matthew and I, we did a live broadcast from a stop sign, trying to tell people how dangerous these stop signs are, because people are not stopping. Last three days, there's been two accidents at stop signs in Woodbury, breaking, like hitting a guy and his son, breaking legs, and in the hospital, bones. Please, in Woodbury, slow down, stop the stop signs. And then today, another woman got hit at a stop sign in Woodbury. You know, if you remember, again, me and Matt were broadcasting that. Hey, brother, doing well, thanks, keep it doing. Been informed a few Irvine... Awesome, appreciate it. Yeah, tell him I gotta go visit Mike in Upland. You know, Mike, um, ladies and gentlemen, Mike um, Manuel's older brother is actually a school teacher in Upland. He um, he is one school teacher I would be afraid of. I'm not gonna tell his stories, but that is a true warrior. Mike has got some war stories that you're like, man, I will never mess with you. But but you know what, Mike Manuel's older brother, he's an awesome guy. He's a really good person. Um, a true warrior is kind-hearted, but knows when to fight. And that's that's definitely Manuel's older brother, Mike. And uh, I got a lot of respect for him. So, hi, Nina. How are you doing? But anyway, back to the traffic situation. Mike, uh, Matthew, and I, we broadcast for like 45 minutes talking about traffic, traffic situation. And we were showing you guys 
live people just blowing through the stop sign at 30, 40 miles an hour. Um, once we, we, this woman almost got hit with a baby stroller right next to my house at the stop sign. And we're like, whoa, our heart skipped a beat. Like we watched almost get that woman got, get hit, right? With a baby, but luckily she, she didn't get hit. And then now we had two accidents in three days. You know, people not stopping at stop signs and people just don't take it serious. You know, at 40 miles an hour, you, you can kill somebody with a car. It's, you know, and I always talk about safety and um, people are like, oh, what are you going to worry about? They're, you know, we're going to get attacked. I'm like, no, the most likely thing I'm worried about is a car accident around the schools. Because let's say, let's talk about two things. Most likely and most catastrophic. What's most catastrophic, first off? Earthquake, fire, shooting. Those are really catastrophic things. They're unlikely, but they're catastrophic. That's why we do earthquake drills, fire drills, etc. Now, most likely is a car accident a kid getting hit outside of a school and drop off that's most likely and then we just had two people get hit at stop signs near woodbury or in woodbury not too far from the elementary school that's what i'm worried about the most that is it really scares me doing good we really just like driving in woodbury i know right again that's what i'm saying my people see like military guy they think i'm <laughs> they really think i'm gonna put like a tank and like armed soldiers and machine guns out in front of the schools i'm like really i don't know where to be offended or laugh at you i mean i'm not gonna give kids rocket launchers i'm like i am I really am not going to do it, I swear. But I am worried about the traffic. That's, that's a huge issue. we got to uh, improve our traffic plans. And again, it's evident that we had two people really, really hurt bad. And they could have been killed. People running stop signs. And again, there's stop signs around the schools. And people just don't even care. They just go right through. And this, what's the solution? The solution is I'm not sure. I'm going to contact these traffic engineers. And we're going to build those relationships to figure it out. I have not seen that so bad. Just I haven't seen it this bad since like a third world country. Like in... Uh, you know what I mean? I can't believe it's that bad here. I was like, wow. And compare this to where I was at before, the stop signs. I used to, you know, do traffic. I used to write tickets as a military police officer. And we would, we would never write, we would never see as much as we see here. People just blatantly disregarding and just going through the, the intersections at 40 miles an hour, acting like the stop signs aren't even there. And again, two people in three days have been hit. One guy and his son severely, like, I heard broken legs and broken arms from um, somebody that... that that heard about the details, but again, there was no press release. The police didn't, replay, you know, re, you know, report any details, so we don't know exactly. But I beg you, slow down, Woodbury. All right, that's that's the most likely thing. We're probably gonna have more people killed by car accidents, you know, coming up around the schools. And now, with with this population growth that we have, and all these houses being built, we have five thousand new houses. That's like twenty, what, fifteen, twenty thousand more people on the roads. So we're just we're really crowded now, and these. Drop-off plans have not really been and built to um, adapt, and the school districts still in react. They're still reacting. You now they're still trying to build two schools and reopen a close an old school. So we're still trying to react. We're overcrowded. The principals, you know, they're still trying to fix their drop-off plans. They don't have resources. And that's my whole thing. Is I'm gonna I want to bring resources to the district. So um, that's a big issue. If you you know, depending on what elementary school you go by, you go by a school in the morning, you will be stuck for like 30 minutes of traffic. In some schools, it's really bad. And again, that's the traffic plan. We need to get traffic engineers involved, and they will rewrite the, the drop-off plans, and they will you know, brief you guys the plan. I'm not a traffic engineer, but I know that the traffic engineers are the ones to talk to. Right? Ta-da! I'm a genius, right? I know where the experts are. So, not a genius. I just got common sense, right? Actually, um, speaking of common sense, I was door-knocking the other day, and this one guy's like, I said, hey, you know, I'm running for a school board, asking for your vote. And he's like, were you a teacher? Were you a teacher for a long time? Background education? I was like, no, sir. This is my background, military guy, father. And he's like, good. I'll vote for you. <laughs> like, That's too funny. Angela Bowen, what's up? How are you? So we're just talking about safety and the election and some gifts I got from my donors. I got these cool hats from my friends that donated the campaign. I got their name embroidered in the back. And I got a cool American flag in the front, like a little rubbery patch. Of shade. Went and had these made for them. Well, I bought that, bought the hat, and then I had the name tag uh, special order for them. So these are for my donors. I donate money, and I will hand deliver them to them. They're mostly local people here in Irvine. They're friends I've made over the last year and a half, and I really appreciate all they've done for me. And actually, this guy, Jeff Clyde, he's actually, I've tagged him. He's actually a famous author. He's a published author here locally. He uh, owns a, um, a company, um, Huntington Beach, but he's a very successful consultant. So... I see people popping in, popping out. You guys got to ask questions, man. So Nina, do we know you? Do I know you, Nina? Hartstein, have we met before? Okay, I'm just going to sit here and wait for you to type your response. 
So anyway, I can rehash what's going on the last few days. I gotta go through my Facebook to find out what's going on. It's just like two, three events a day. Busy, busy, busy. Um, so today I went to the grand opening. Then yesterday, what did we do? Let's look at my campaign website, find out what's going on. So if you guys want, go to markforirvine.com to find out what's going on with the campaign. If you guys want to donate, markforirvine.com. Again, we uh, we're up to 800 signs we put out in Irvine. Fortunately, some disappear. Not plenty of fingers, but some disappear. So anyway, yesterday I had I uh, met Congresswoman Mimi Walters, which she was actually pretty awesome. I uh, greeted her. And I said, hey, I'm running for Irvine School Board. You know, I'm endorsed by the party, so on and so forth. She's like, oh, yeah. I said, can I have a picture? She took a few pictures to make sure I got a good one. Still unhappy with the picture, but you know what? She did that. That's pretty um, pretty awesome. Then uh, she had like a safety a safety event where she's teaching college girls how to stay safe, how to defend themselves, common sense measures uh, to you know help them out with college life and a lot of the uh, sexual assaults that go on there. So I really admire Mimi Walters and what she's doing there. Um, and also, I like hearing about her bipartisan bill to um, provide you know more services to sexual assault victims. I thought that was pretty um, awesome that Mimi Walters was doing that as well. But uh, yeah, she's uh, she's a pretty nice lady. Um, mother, she said, mother of four kids. And um, here's some of the pictures from the event you can see on the website. Her um, that's, that's the, at the event yesterday. That was yesterday, with Mimi Walters, Congresswoman Mimi Walters, pretty cool, huh? Look at that, a congresswoman that hangs out with the president. I was able to just go and say hi to her yesterday. That's uh, Chris, he's helping with my campaign. So what else? There's Mimi Walter speaking. That's at the event, and of course they did the self-defense classes. They had some Israeli martial artists, um, fighters, experts come in and teach the, the college kids how to defend themselves. So that was pretty cool. And I really liked the event. And um, once I get elected, I wouldn't mind seeing more of that in the high schools to prepare college kids, especially college girls, um, about college life and how to defend themselves um, with unarmed self-defense. I mean, you know, they taught them stuff like don't be looking at your phone when you're walking to your cars. They um, said, you know, m like majority of attacks happen in daylight hours. You know, also a lot of them happen in parking garages. They want some common sense stuff that you don't think and say, oh, it makes sense. So I wouldn't mind if um, I would probably reach out to Mimi Walters again and invite her to some of the high schools to see if we can do some more of those events to uh, connect them with self-defense classes. Um, so it was more of the unarmed self-defense, which, you know, m you know, a lot of times you might just be unarmed and you know it, and, and they, they taught them how to, you know, go for the eyes because if an attacker has you, but you know, your hands are free so you can, you know, uh, stuff. So, and I'm not sure if I got told you guys before, I actually used to fight MMA. It's been a while, but that's just another thing I'm going to do when I, after the election's over, get back into the training and fighting. But, uh, I've never been in a street fight, just, I just fight in the ring only or did a long time ago. I don't want to do that anymore. All those fighters, those MMA fighters all rip muscles, but their faces are all like, Phew. but they got six packs, right? I don't have a six pack, but again, my ears are fine. No cauliflowers, like nothing like that. So also, um, last Saturday night, I went to a, um, just please spread. Someone just messaged me. I'm not going to mention his name. Um, cause he wants to remain anonymous. He, um, he said, please spread the word, um, safe driving. He just messaged me on, on Facebook, so he doesn't want me to mention his name, so I'm not going to say anything about that. So, yeah, he texted me, please spread the word in Irvine. Planning Commission, Anthony Quill will be visiting Woodbury tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. To witness our crazy drivers, and Woodbury will be Long Meadow. About time. I'm texting him. I, I have been live broadcasting it. So, anyway, <clears throat> actually, I uh, wonder if uh, Melissa Fox will come out. So, anyway, um, I know I say I'm neutral, but actually I have my opinions too, right? Um, well, I'll keep that to myself. I don't weigh in on any other elections other than uh, mine. And I try to be neutral, and I'll work with any candidate that gets elected so we can fix the traffic. Sorry, they keep, they keep popping up the messages. So I'm watching myself on Facebook. I'm actually literally looking at myself. So anyway, guys, 
I see people popping in, popping out. What's up? What's up? Jeez, I was actually going to think we're going for a run. He's messaging me. I'm not going to message him back. I'm just going to sit in here and stare at you guys. Shit, some better jams. I'll help that. That's why people are leaving. Super music sucks. There you go. With some better music on. So I think everybody went to bed already. Unless that one person that popped in wants to say something and have a discussion. I'm not sure how much longer I'll broadcast. We got two people. What's up? Let's talk. If you guys want to donate and get a free hat, well, I guess it wouldn't be free if you donate 100 bucks. Donate 100 bucks. I will make you this hat. I'll make you the same hats as Jeff Clyde got, my friend, a published author. The same hat as Mike Munzing, Jeff Gibson, Mia Fair, Miles, Sarah, all these other people that have donated and helped our campaign. I um, just want to say thank you um, with all your support. And uh, I, really, I really do appreciate it. Um, the community has been awesome. They've come out of nowhere to help me out. Um, and even uh, fumbling way through our, our way through this election, I still think we're going to win. Um, I, 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 we got a little bit of luck. We've been, we've been lucky. Some of the things have been lucky in this campaign to help us. Um, so we will, we will get it. Um, and again, I will, I think we're going to host an event. I think the 22nd or 23rd, I haven't decided what day, uh, this weekend, um, the 15th in the morning, I have the candidate form at the Chinese cultural center. I have to make a speech and then we'll do some Q and A with the audience and do that. So I'm not sure if I have time to plan an event Saturday afternoon, but I'll probably be walking precincts with other candidates and piggybacking with volunteers. The 16th Sunday, maybe if you guys want to come out with me and hang out, maybe I'll do an announcement on Facebook and I'll hit a park or something and we can go walk uh, maybe in Woodbridge or University Park area. Or if, like um, Mark Irvine, um, it's his Facebook, he has been requesting the cards and him and his um, cycling crew are going to pass these around Irvine for me. How cool is that? For their exercise, they're gonna they're gonna pass these out. So if you want to help me out, it'd be great. Um, put these in people's hands, and every one of them have my personal contact information. So a voter, you can say, hey, yeah, give the guy a call. Yeah, just ask him. You know, you don't you know have to listen to anyone else tell you how to vote. Um, it's one thing that's been frustrating is some people just listen to other people say, hey, tell you how to vote. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate that. But I encourage you to do your research. Um, go contact the um, the candidate. Go send them an email, send them a, um, a Facebook uh, you know, message, and see how fast they get back to you. That really should tell you something about them. Um, I, I believe that a local leader should be very available to the people they serve. And make no mistake, the elected leaders serve you, not the other way around. Um, once you elect me and give me the privilege to do the job, then I'm held accountable to you guys. And... Um, I believe most politicians do believe that, and when this population does hold them accountable, they, they do act in the best interest. But again, we um, as citizens do have to reach out to our politicians and say, hey, this is what I want. And if they don't listen, then you get them out, you vote them out. That's what, that's what this is all about. But again, if we don't pay attention, then you know we don't pay attention. Hey, what's up? I'm not sure who that is. I just saw a thumbs up. Thank you. Hey, what's up? I'm not sure who's, who's watching, so what's up? Um, and I appreciate I know a lot of people just pop in and watch, and they bounce. There was a college kid today that he was like, you're that guy, I know you. It was, it was pretty cool that uh, I got recognized. It's um, happening more and more with this campaign. So it's been pretty interesting. Um, happened at a senior center. He was like, you're Mark Nugent. And I was like, yeah, I am. And, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty cool to get recognized. So and if anyone, if you guys want to come on my live broadcast, you're more than welcome. We can have a cup of coffee, I'll hit Panera Bread, Starbucks, whatever. We can talk about whatever it is that's bothering you about this, you know, local politics. Only talk local. Or what about the schools? Or, you know, again, you know, local races. I'll come and talk to you. I have a live broadcast about it. Or if you want to walk, to take a walk with me, we'll walk and talk to the neighbors around Irvine. And um, you can, uh, you know, we can do that live. Meet with me in person. Or you can just give me a call. It's probably the easiest, right? Just get me on the phone and we'll talk. Um, now, I got this um, last night. I got a... Uh, Facebook uh, question about Common Core. So let's address that. I, I've just I just remembered that. And uh, she asked, what's your opinion of Common Core? And my response last night was, that is a very short question with a very long answer. Um, now I've talked to a lot of people about Common Core and say um, some people like it, a lot don't. That's the simple answer. A lot of people don't like it. Um, and again, um, I don't have an emotional um, opinion on it either way. 
um, something like that. I would weigh the facts and talk to the experts of what to adjust. But for Common Core, as it is now, it's the state law. Unless the state changes it, that's what we're required to do. Um, however, if the people of Irvine don't like it, we can't. I will go to the state on their behalf and figure out what we can do to change it the way they want. So the majority of people, if I get 20,000 emails and I'm from elected and they say, hey, we want this added or deleted from Common Core, then I'm gonna take those 60,000 emails, I'm gonna catalog them and that, you know, I've gotta to listen to them after I'm elected. So okay, these people want this. So I'm gonna to have to represent their best interest. They, if I get 60,000 or 100,000 emails, they say, Mark, you need to go to the state and do this with the Common Core. I'm gonna do that. That's it. And I'm gonna talk to the experts, the teachers, the staff, the parents, especially the parents, and the public at large, and then I'm gonna represent their interest. That's what it is. Um, oh, good night. Good night, Con. How are you doing? Hey, tell everybody to vote for me. And if you want some postcards to pass out, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, our sponsors. I actually have sponsors. So, Irvine Quality Discount Cleaners. Go to them to get your cleaning done, because they're my dry cleaners and they're awesome. Um, Belaz Tailoring, another good guy. Go to, if you want to get a suit, that's where I get my suits made. Belaz Tailoring on Baronka Parkway. Now that i got no people watching me, I should put the, the commercials at the beginning. So I'm going to do, next time I live broadcast, I'm going to hit the sponsors right off the bat. And again, you guys are my sponsors too, because all my donors, you guys help me out, and I got you hats. So I appreciate that. Boom. So there's Jeff's Clyde's one. So I just decided to put those on there because I don't know when the next time I'm going to see those guys. Imagine it'll probably be about four weeks before I see Mayor Mike Munzing. And uh, I'm not sure when I see the, everyone else. Probably get to see uh, Miles and Sarah next Wednesday, I hope. So I'm going to hang out five more minutes and then I will bounce. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get, I wish we got more questions than we did. Uh, most of my friends join us, which I greatly appreciate. And uh, that's that. Oh man, this music sucks. That's why we needed some more upbeat music. 21 Pilots. That sounds good. How about 21 Pilots? So, what's up? The one person that joined us. I see one person there. They go on like a big politician's website or a broadcast is like, like 80K in there or something like that. But we don't have those types of numbers. You just got me. There's some 21 Pilots. So, what's up? Who's there? It says one person's watching. I see you. What's up? So anyway, I got my, I found my, um, my ACUs, the IPSF gala is next week. I'm gonna wear my uniform. I, I found my dress uniform, it's fine. I still fit it, everything's fine. Sure glad about that when I put it on, I was like, it still fits. My daughter loves this song. I think someone's lighting firecrackers off. So, who's watching? I think I'm all out of things to talk about. Um, yesterday I got to meet Mamie Walters, was pretty cool. Today I got to meet Matt Harper, stay assemblyman, awesome. Got to go to an opening of a restaurant, another awesome thing today. And also met some news reporters from University of Irvine, college students, good people. So, but I'm just gonna hang out, leave the camera on me. If you guys got any questions, feel free to ask and I will respond to your questions in real time. Again, I always say, you can fake cheesy photos on Facebook. You can you can fake a scripted video. You can fake a scripted debate. You cannot fake live Facebook because you will see me. You ask a question in real time. You'll see me read it and you'll see my real response. Um, you can't fake that. I am the youngest candidate. I'm the only one that does Facebook Live out of all the Irvine School Board candidates. Um, so that's that. I encourage them to do it, and I would let any candidate, any, even the other ones on Irvine School Board. Then come on my broadcast and we can talk about the issues. I'm more than welcome any of my rival candidates to come on my broadcast and we'll have a professional discussion about the issues, which I don't know any of them personally, so it would always be um, a professional discussion. Any issues I, or anything, disagreements I have are all professional, nothing personal. And of course, I'm all, I, only, I only do positive campaigning, so that's all that. So anyway, I'm not sure if anyone's watching, but... We'll hang out for a minute. See what's up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, 
Anthony Quo, candidate for um, school for our city council, will be in uh, Woodbury tomorrow to view the bad traffic. So, again, it's from a local a local um, group, the Woodbury Community Watch, is out there videotaping all these blatant traffic violations. And I wonder what the solution is on this. Because we're talking a cultural thing. Because the cops can't be everywhere all the time, right? I mean, it is really, really bad. And again, we had two people get hit by cars, broke, I mean, seriously injured in the last three days at these stop signs. I mean, it might be they need to do like roundabouts or traffic circles, they call them in Germany. Because the stop signs, if people are, you know, if like nobody's paying attention to the stop signs, it, I mean, what are the cops going to do? The cops can't be there all the time, right? So how do we change society to follow these rules? I mean, what, are you going to have 5,000 cops everywhere? But this is a serious issue. They almost killed somebody, like two people. I mean, a guy and his kid got hurt, hit by a car. It's crazy. It's unacceptable. You know, I mean, the most dangerous thing we do in our lives, we do it every single day, and that is driving a car. I mean, you look at the numbers, 2015, like 38,000 people died with automobile-related deaths. It's, uh, it's a big number. I mean, just think of how many people you know died in a car accident. Or a lot, you know, got seriously injured. Uh, it's uh, sad. Yeah. So, anyway, that's that. What's up? Why are you looking at me? You just cut look at my eyes. We got two people. What's up, everybody? We're just hanging out. I think I was actually thought I was gonna go run tonight. If I had energy. I use my energy to live broadcast. I realized today I hadn't done it in a few days. I was like, oh, I gotta get back on Facebook Live and say hi to everybody. So, we can talk about whatever you guys want. You guys can ask me any questions. Michelle Ibarra, how are you doing? Welcome. Let me do an experiment. Let me look at my own feed and see if it pops in. We had like said 15 people earlier, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I don't click on it. There's a lag. Hi Michelle, do we know each other? Just joining us, this is a two-way conversation. You're supposed to text me stuff. Hey, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? So, I think I'm going to wrap this up unless somebody talks. I'm kind of just like staring at myself. I'm out of things to talk about. But anyway, I just want to say thank you again to all the donors all the teachers that support me and support our campaign. And yes, we do have Irvine teachers support Mark Nugent. Um, there's a, a Irvine teacher right there. There's a real to life Irvine teacher supporting us. Also, I got a bunch of retired Irvine teachers that are helping us, and active teachers. So thank you um, to the Irvine teachers that support me. Um, I know a lot of you do it um, and you guys, uh, I know that some people you get flack for it at the school, but hey, I appreciate the support and thank you for bucking the establishment system and supporting my campaign. That means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it and um, I wish you guys all the best. Um, I will be reading, uh, I have a new speech by the way, I'm not going to be really um, speaking to afterwards, after Saturday because I already had a debate last week. And I know my um, my fellow candidates, they think they, they got me. They know what I'm talking about, but got some new material. So I will uh, perform that Saturday morning and uh, have a good debate or a small form. I think I'm only going to do two questions. Um, 
for that, the Chinese Cultural Center form. All right, guys, I think I'm going to head out here and joining me if you've actually watched this long. Well, thank you. So, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later.